Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. This is the last one for the night. I'm yawning. Okay, listen. <laughs> you know those flashlights they came out with? And you had to shake them. And you had to shake them. And you had to shake them. What was the purpose of shaking a flashlight? Something about the way they did the coils and the, the components inside, the shaking cause the flashlight battery to recharge. The power would rise through the shaking. You hear where I'm going? And the shaking would cause the power to enable the flashlight to glow. Some of you have been asking God for the anointing. You're living a holy life. You're being obedient. You're reading the Bible. You're spending time with God. You're spending time with God's people. You're sitting under the anointed word of God. You're filled with the Holy Ghost. And all hell breaks loose in your life. What the heck? Well, seems like there's a shaking going on now, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. That's the part we don't like. Now everything was cool, Lord, while you were blessing me. But I ain't digging this, this uh, shaking thing. I ain't feeling this. Well, yeah, you may not be feeling it or it may be hurting too much for you to feel the benefits. But there comes an anointing through shakings in our lives. There comes an empowerment. Something, I, I hate this, but something about pain, inconvenience, loss, hurt, things that happen in our lives that seem to come against us when we are doing everything to cooperate with God. And we want to say, but why? There's something that happens through that shaking. We don't like it. The shaking hurts. The shaking is annoying. But that flashlight, and we as God's lights want to shine, that flashlight, needs the shaking in order to be empowered enough in order to manifest or generate that's the word I'm looking for in order to generate enough power to enable that flashlight to shine brightly it cannot give a bright glow it cannot shine brightly if you just tap it a few times, put the light down, it may flicker on and off like a lot of saints' lives do. But if you stay in God's hands while he is creating a shaking, stay in God's hands through it. Don't jump out of his hand, not now. Stay in his hand. That shaking is producing power in you. The power that's being generated in you is bringing forth an anointing that you've never had before. It's bringing forth a power, a level of power you've never operated in before. Cling to God through the anointing. While he's holding you and allowing you to be shaken, you cling all inside his hands of protection. And through the squinched eyes and the fear and all that goes on, trust God with all your might. In spite of how it feels, in spite of how it looks, trust God. Because this shaking is going to bring something out of you. 
It's going to kick the devil in the teeth and it's going to blow people's minds. And there will follow the greatest anointing you have ever experienced. Now this happens through life, not just once. I wish it did happen just once. No, that's the bad news. The good news is for every shaking, there is a higher level of anointing and a, a more powerful uh, surge of, of energy, of power, of, of oh my goodness, I, I can't even, I'm, I'm lost for words. But it is a good thing even though it feels rotten. Let God fill you with his power any way he chooses to do so. Please. Now, it, it is easy to say. Much harder to do. And I really hope all my shaking is over with. Oh, God, please. But I'm telling you, shaking does bring about a more powerful anointing. I hope that encourages you while you're going through the shaking. You won't be shaken apart. You'll be shaking and shaking and God will do something with you. You will, when he lets go, you'll have wings to fly and soar to new heights in God. God bless you. You be encouraged. It's a good thing. It's a God thing.